Welcome back, everybody, to Starbound 2015 edition. This is episode number eight. Last time we built this farm building, and it's going pretty good. We're filling it up, and I've been harvesting the plants and crops, and these animals are still spawning inside my building. And now that I think about it, they're only spawning up here in the areas where the uh, the background isn't completely filled in. So I've got this filled with these nets, this uh, crisscrossed lattice wood pattern that I don't have a a recipe for and I'm wondering I don't think I can replicate this with my 3d printer on my ship but let's take just a block just to find out okay one block so I was running low on these chests and someone reminded me that I could 3d print those on my ship so I did and I filled in the rest of the spots with those I got a new assault rifle machine gun thing exploring the surface of this planet Today we're going to do a little bit of mining, we're going to complete some quests. We might look into what the uh, the big deal is with the Florin party we were invited to, which is another quest. Take that! Awesome! Okay, so we've got a number of quests to do. So let's see, we have to take out the trash. We were given a trash bag and told to throw it in a furnace and bring back the ashes. They said it had, um, it was a bag of meat. That sounds a little sinister. I hope there's not puppies or something in there. Uh, then there's, let's see, we need five gunpowder. Let's head down to where my, hmm, coconuts. Let's head down to where my crafting table is. We also need coconuts for one of the other ones. And I was looking here and I just remembered that the coconuts drop from the trees, not, whoa! Coconuts drop from the trees, not from the plants. So I would have to be farming them to have them on my farm, but we haven't built the tree farm yet. We will eventually, but I should have some in here somewhere because I have chopped down a bunch of the trees. Also, exploring the planet, I got another tech card, which gave me a tech slot. And what I unlocked is the ability to be <laughs> hit F and be in a boat. So next time we're on the, uh, the ocean planets, I should be able to explore the islands a little bit better. So I've got instant boats. Let's see, uh, nothing in there. Coconut! Where's the coconut? Pretty sure I had these. Uh, well, we'll look for those later. We might have to go visit a planet with oceans and palm trees. Anyway, here's the gunpowder. Oops, sorry, bird. Qu quest said, uh, five gunpowder. Okay, good. So there's that one. Now we also need to stick this bag of trash in the furnace. Oh, I guess so. Okay, so now it just gives us this because we have the mysterious trash bag. Now we have the mysterious ashes. Okay, what was the other one? Ow! Coconuts! Well, what else do we have? We did this one. We did this one. I guess they updated, so they went to the bottom of the list. Copper bars I have in my inventory. Unrefined wood I also have. So just need to find the coconuts and then head back to the uh, the outpost and turn them in okay back at the outpost this place is still a bit laggy so I'm gonna try to walk as little as possible but here we go coconuts uh, I did find those in my inventory so what do we get let's put this over here let's see if it'll stay there I know it won't we got a beach ball what does this thing do can I throw it bounce oh and then you get it back okay cool all right so I gave them the wood and they taught us to make Paper! I'm sure that'll be important for other things we can make later. Maybe it'll be a base ingredient for several things, like a book or something, I don't know. Good job! Take this, you've earned it. I burned their puppies in a furnace and they gave me a rifle. Awesome! Is this what I got? Uh, deuterizer. 180. Oh, that kind of stinks. The DPS is not very good. <laughs> Alright! But that's okay. We completed a quest. Oh, we did another one. Okay. So we're going to get, I guess, another range weapon that we can shoot into the sky. Randomly generate. The DPS isn't very good. Uh, are these one-handed? No, only one of them. I have not dual-wielded uh, handguns yet. That sounds fun. I would like to do that one day. Okay, quest. Journal. Okay, we got one other person to find with a question mark over the head. Hey, bird. Bird brain. Did you get the paper? If you bring me five pieces of paper, I'll show you how to make this awesome paper plane. 
All right, what do we need to make paper? Can I just make it in my inventory? Probably not. I bet I need a crafting table. All right, we'll come back. We'll come back. Hey, now we know how to make fireworks. Take this firework and I'll show you how to make more. Green, blue, and red learned. Awesome. All right, so I went and got the paper. Lift off, there you go. Go ahead, give it a fly. Okay, let's see it in action. Paper airplane. Woo! Oh, did he catch it or did it land? No, he, it landed, he didn't catch it. All right, let's celebrate. Back off, watch out, watch out, guy. Do I have to interact with it? How do I do it? Oh, there it goes. Bam, yeah, woo! <laughs> All right, that's cool. Let's go do some exploring. All right, first thing I wanna explore is the nearby moon in our system. You guys in the comments, you let me know, and it was very helpful, I'm glad you did, that the moons are kind of like gas stations for the system. You need to come here and pick up this stuff, not the moon dust, but the liquid air chia's fuel. We did have a quest that sort of went over this, uh, but I wasn't sure if it was like a one-time thing, and the way it used to work is you would use the, uh, the, the uranium rods and plutonium and other stuff like that to power your starship, and I guess that's not the best way to do it. Now what you want to use is this, get this stuff, come to a moon, get the Urchius after you can suck up the liquid with your matter manipulator. So this is going to be an easy way to travel between stars. I was kind of a little bit alarmed by how much, how much fuel it took to travel places. Oh God, ouch. How much fuel it took to travel places uh, because the, the uranium rods or plutonium or whatever it was that I had, they take a while to accumulate, but this stuff I can get pretty quickly and easily, so that's good. Uh, anything that sort of removes the grindiness and adds to the fun factor, I'm all, I'm in favor of. So I'm going to do some, oh god, this dial was dangerous. Woo! <laughs> uh, I should really be building my platforms my way down, otherwise I may take a lot of falling damage and die. But I'm gonna get a bunch of this stuff. Uh, we're going to have to explore other star types, even though we've got a home system now, which has a, a number of different environments, which I picked mainly for their building block potential. So I've got a, a snowy planet so we can get some snow blocks, that kind of thing. We're going to have to travel back and forth. So I'm going to get uh, a whole heck of a lot of this stuff so I don't have to worry about it. And if we ever have to come back, uh, we can or we can visit a different moon. There should be plenty of the fuel, though. It does seem to be kind of easy to acquire now that I'm down in the caverns. And uh, after, I guess after we beat the next boss, we'll, we'll probably get access to a suit that allows us to handle either the cold or the hot. I think those are the ones I've got left that I can't really, can't really deal with. And hopefully sooner or later, one of these days, I'll learn how to make a replacement flashlight. I wonder if I can buy that from an NPC somewhere. That would be handy. I lost it very early on. I dropped it by accident, and I haven't been able to replace it since. Anyway, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of fuel. Oh gosh, oh liquid. Thank you, liquid. Oh, I still took damage. I'm gonna get a bunch of this stuff, uh, and then we'll explore our home planet a little bit too. So I brought back like 4,000 or something, 5,000, after I fueled up my tank, 6,000 something, a stupid amount of fuel that hopefully should last a long time. I built this little mining hut, by the way. I don't know how much mining I'm going to do on this planet because I don't think it's going to have the next metals. We're going to have to probably do the next boss, which might have something to do with that Florin party. And then after that, we shall have to uh, find one of the cold or hot or whatever new suit we get is, would be my guess. But anyway, I dug a little bit of a mine shaft down here just to explore, see what was down here. And look at this. There's like a hydroponic grope facility. <laughs> Making some illicit substances, now illegal in now legal in some states. All right, what is this? Outpost thick wall. Plastic plant. Oh, I was lied to. They're plastic. This is not a grow facility. Okay, what about these backgrounds? Oh, that's just glass. All right, what about these? No need to just give one. Let's try all nine. Outpost wall. All right, I'll take some furniture. Why not? Uh, put that uh, in my future house. And we have storage crates. Okay. Great. Okay, let's just dig ever so slightly farther down. Sometimes these things spawn in groups. What I want, what I wanted to do was not uh, dig down here and do some mining. I just wanted to point out that I found this funny little thing. 
What I do want to do is try out the cooking table with all our new plants. So my inventory is totally full. And I wonder, yeah, I, whoa, little lag. I, I should have been able to pick up all of that stuff, right? All right, I'm going to need, no, that's not, <laughs> that's not the right thing. I'm going to need a platform right here. Let's go cook some food, see if we can discover some new recipes. I think that's how it's going to work. When you cook things, then you know how to cook that one thing, and then it becomes available in your recipe matrix data bank thing. We'll see. Okay, so I've got a lot of... Actually, before I do that, let me provide a few open slots in here for the food. So let's put this in here. Good. Hey, bird, stay away. We, we don't want you in our life right now. Okay, carrot juice. Let's just make... I'm going to make one of everything, basically. Let's put it over here. We'll have my inventory over here. Bam! See, look at this. I learned to craft garden salad and carrot soup. Nice. Okay. Now this, uh, it says surprisingly sweet. Carrot juice, by the way. If you have a juicer, make some carrot juice. It is, inc it is crazy sweet. If you like fruit juice, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay, surprisingly sweet, unsurprisingly nutritious. It doesn't tell you what the, the benefits are. Like, I got, uh, health regen. And I can't eat again for a while, but other than that, I don't really know. So I guess it's going to be trial and error. Maybe we'll have to use the backgrounds when we get better ones like this that turn green. Okay, lucky dip. Bananas and carrots mashed in a bowl. Oh, the apex snack. I was going to say, that doesn't sound like that would be, be very appetizing. All right, I did not learn how to make anything. Cooked bacon. So some of these are going to, going to require meat and other ingredients. That I just don't have on me right now. Cooked fish. Yeah, okay, so we'll do the meat versions and combinations at another time. Hmm, seems like a lot of them do. I may have to go fishing. Okay, corn cob. Okay, did not learn anything. What about this two? This takes current corn. Oh, I guess I haven't started growing that yet. Soggy sack. That sounds delectable. Detergent innards <laughs> stuffed into a coral creep. To make a dish that sounds terrible. It does sound terrible, but it tastes all right. So there's that. Okay. Egg and bread. I don't have any eggs. I might have to buy those. Grapes I don't have. Bottled water. Okay, that's another thing. That might be... Water might be an ingredient for a lot of things, now that I think about it. Milk I'll have to buy. Yeah, okay, so we're missing some stuff. Milk and coffee. Uh-huh. Boiled pearl peas. Learn to craft pearl pea broth. Nice. Pineapple juice. Learn to craft sweet punch. Mashed potato. Oh, this one's got a purple background. Pineapple, kiwi, and grapes. I do not have kiwis yet. Sweet punch. Okay, mashed uh, potato. Turpaters. Cyan cider. Ooh, this one has a green background. Pus plum and oculemon. And I learned to craft oculemon stew from that. Dude, seriously, I'm trying to I'm trying to get my cooking on here. Okay, where were we? Boiled pearl peas. Let's check the inventory for the last thing I made. Cyan nibber dibber dibber, whatever that is. And the one before that was mashed potatoes. To potatoes. Uh, okay, pearl pea mashed potatoes. Cyan. Okay, here we go. Reef juice was what we were working on. Prepare. Oh, and that uh, did I rent out? I only had. Oh, I learned to make this, but I don't have the ingredients. Okay, but we can make this. And risotto. Ooh, the risotto sounds pretty fantastic right now. Bonbons. Man, I'm gonna, it's going to take me a long time to eat all this food. Yeah, I'm about to run out of inventory. Sweet popcorn. Oh, nice. Feather crown jam. Okay, I've got three more spots. Pearl pea jam. Nice tomato juice. Toxic Top Jam. I'm just, I'm learning. Okay, let's eat one of the ones with the green background. Because you would think those would have uh, better side effects. Wow. Oh, it poisoned me. What? Huh, but it doesn't last all that long. And then I've got like a speed upgrade, an energy upgrade, and I can't eat for a while. That's interesting. All right, we can make one more. 
That was the Toxic Top Jam. Jam made from Toxic Top fruit. It's actually toxic to eat. Oh, I didn't read that. I Maybe I should have. Bread I've made before, I think. Have I? Let's go, let's go ahead and make it. Oh, okay. And now I'm out of room. That was cool. I need to free up some space in my inventory. So you know what? What I could do? Um, I just... There, here's a chest. Let me put this here and this here. And let me put down somewhere to store all this food I just made. Until we get around to making the, um, the little tavern area. I'm also going to make a bedroom, I think. Which is going to be like a little cubby on this landing here. There's going to be a little bedroom there. And the rest of that space is going to be like a tavern cooking area where we will store all the food that we create. But for right now, I'm just going to I'm going to dump it all in here if it'll even fit. Oh my gosh, I made so much stuff. Anyway, okay, so let's go try out that mission we got. All right, I've got some of the food we just made, some feather crown jam, some cyaniter. The cyaniter sounds a little dangerous and I got some pearl pea jam. Okay, let's go see what this mysterious party. I thought I would bring it some drinks because that sounds like something you would do at a party. Here we go. Let's see what it is. Aha! Okay, we have landed somewhere. Let's not open our... Oh, wait, hang on. Hey! Open up! I can't open the door. There's a lever here. And the, the ground background right here looks kind of fishy. Hey! Oh, great. I think I have to interact with this thing. These blocks are invincible. All right. You want some of this? Dang, I can't shoot through the door. I think I've been tricked by these plant people. All right, here we go. What happens? Oh, gosh. Oh, I didn't take any damage. That was well done. Can I do things down here? No. Okay. Well, I can do things. I just can't break blocks. All right. Well, I can definitely breathe in water, so we can do this. What's down here? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. So, I assume we were supposed to be meant... We were supposed to be eaten or something, or maybe this is some kind of ritual? We will get to the bottom of it one way... That looks like a trap. Oh, it's a lever. It's not a trap, it's just a lever. There's monsters down here. So one thing I can't do in here is place blocks to make little platforms. I can't take some some of these nice, lovely, planty ingredients. And the bandages and stuff, I brought 114 medical gets. I think that should be enough. Coral creep seed, I already have some of that, but whatever. I'm gonna take your plants. You're gonna, like, lure me into this trap. I'm gonna take your plants and your rope. I can't place torches either, can I? Okay. Well, I guess we'll just go see what's what. These guys down here probably want some of that, huh? Take that! Yeah. They, they didn't know what hood him. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna progress through here. Until we see if we find something. That looks poisonous, so I'm not going to go down there. We're just going to progress through here until we find something significant, I guess. Maybe some uh, some nice gear. Oh, here's somebody. Okay, let's go talk to him. Let's, let's go peacefully. All right, no weapons out. Hello. Oh. Okay, never mind. He doesn't want to be peaceful. Oh, gosh. Pow! Oh, that, you, yes. You did not like that. All right, let's try some of the food. Let's start with the Pearl Bee Jam. Okay, we got a speed upgrade. Oh, yes, I feel fast. Let's go up here, see what we got. I can see stuff up there. How do I get to that? Um, oh, I've got a rope. I just have the one, don't I? Oh, no, I've got 31. Never mind, I've got a lot of them. I stopped kind of, I stopped using these once I got the double jump. Can I get up into here? Huh. Oh, there's a platform. Whoops. Okay, I didn't need the rope at all. It doesn't seem like I can actually get it get up in here though. Hmm. And I can't reach that. Alright, never mind. 
Let's not spend a lot of time worrying about that kind of stuff. We can sit on the log. That's pretty awesome. I think my main goal then is to kill all of these jerks. Wah! Oh, I fell for it. Take that! Okay, that guy's got a gigantic sword. And perhaps, yeah, I was about to say, I sh whoa, 349. Nice, that's not so bad. Swing speed, it's got a poison effect. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it would, uh, how do I get down there? Maybe I need a special tech to get down there? Oh, I can break the boxes. Nice. All right, this isn't going to be too tough. Tell you what, uh, I'll explore around, and if I see something interesting or, you know, thought-provoking, plot-provoking, bam, bullseye, I'll, I'll record that bit. All right, I have to show you guys this part. I got to a fairly extensive underwater area with a lot of spikes. It seems to be a clear reference, and if you played old Nintendo games, you might you might recognize it. It looks very similar to me, to the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles level, where you had to swim through the sewers with the electrified seaweed or kelp or whatever it was, and it was really hard to get through without getting electrocuted. Very notorious level for its difficulty, also inspired pain water in Super Hostile Legendary. Seems like a clear reference to me. I could be wrong, but that's what it seems like to me. We climb out. Look at this. Okay, this little painting thing on the wall. That's a little bit troubling. And we have a lever. Oh. Take that. Okay. I'm doing okay. I just want my energy to reload. To, re to respawn or what? Regenerate? Regenerate's a good word. I killed that one. <laughs> oh, the rocket launcher. One shots, basically everything. Okay, and look at this guy. He's just gonna sit there and wait for me. Let's look around. I have found some custom loot. Look, that's probably the next piece. Okay, I'll show you it once we get in there because it seems like I'm about to find the next one. Oh, I missed. Okay. Let's see how much hit points they take. Uh, ooh, wow. That's kind of a lot. Bam! That would have taken five or six hits with my spear. Rocket launcher, no problemo. Okay, what's in here? Pixels. All right, so what did I get? Predatory back, hmm, okay. So I've got a few of these. Predatory pants. And predatory chest, I'm missing the helm. The headpiece, looks like each of these little bonus boss things gives you some like, some, some, uh, nice clothing. That's cool. Okay, but I'm gonna put my other clothes back on. This one looks like some sort of, like, tribal outfit. Let's have some, some bonuses. Speed, possibly jump height, health regen, total health, and that's on how long until I can... Yeah, I do seem to be... Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey! Mine's better! Wow. This one might... No, this one is speed increase, not... Uh, I was about to say, it might be a um, energy recharge speed. Maybe it is energy recharge speed. My energy seems to be recharging faster. Maybe that's not speed. Okay, jumping up here to look in the roof. There's been a few poison traps. I seem to have made it through that section, though. You're dead. Wow, I want that weapon. I actually have found one like that before. And I don't have any energy to dash. That's what I'm trying to do here. Hey! Oh my gosh, you must be some sort of mini lord. Okay, let's try this gun as soon as I get some health back. <laughs> okay, they really need... They've done work on the AI. It's better than it used to be, but they still need to do some work. That is an mm -hmm. awesome mask. I would love to have this outfit. At least for a little while. Hey, buddy! You're one tough cookie! Now you're dead. Have we picked up any weapons? Ooh, I did. I hadn't even noticed. Mm -hmm. I picked up several. Spike shooter. Quill shooter. Pin shooter. 272. 
267-254. Cool. So we picked up their guns, and I picked up... Oh, a skull torch stand. I guess I hit it with a rocket. Nice. Okay, that guy was fairly tough, though. Now I can't get out of here, out of this arena. This would be a very convenient moment to ambush me. Ooh, okay, question mark. Did we reach the end? I may, I may have to go back and check for the helmet, or maybe it's here. Okay, another blank tech card. Awesome. A diamond. And a two-handed weapon I don't want because it's not good enough. 274? 264? 275? Oh, never mind. It's pretty close to what I'm already using. Question mark. I just barely escaped. The invitation was a trap all along. Really? Set up by bloodthirsty Florin hunters. Yeah, I did miss a piece of that um, cosmetic outfit. I found a satellite and can connect to my ship's teleporters now. That Florin hunter at the outpost has a lot to answer for. I should talk to the Florin hunter at the outpost and see what he has to say for himself. Okay, so we're going to teleport out of here. That's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. I think I'm going to backtrack a little bit and see if I can't find the helmet. Um, I may have missed it fairly early on. I'm not sure. But next time, we'll go to the outpost and we'll confront that guy. We'll also do more construction, more exploration, all that kind of stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.